Started doing a bit of work outside there and when I was halfway through I thought I might as well video it. So the intention today is to kind of tidy up that back bit there. It's I mean I'm halfway through it there now, but we're gonna I'm trying to reclaim the, the ivy's getting <laughs> it's getting way too much and since I've built that wood stack I've kind of ne neglected it a bit and it's been more of a, a wood yard than a, a nice little place for contemplation. So I'll show you what I'm up to. So you can see <laughs> how much bloody ivy I've been cutting, cutting back. And it's all come from over there, shall I show you? So all that there has been kind of cut off because it was encroaching onto this. If I just turn you around there and just show you this like metal seat where we normally kind of sit on. And it looked lovely, it looked all English cottage, you know, little garden but no one would sit on it because it was full of like you know it's full of like ah there's spiders in there there's bugs so big cut down so i moved that i forget i don't know what them them plants are but that plant there was just here underneath the seat because i had all that full with logs you know i had a whole more load of logs but yesterday my son and myself we got the chainsaw out there and we filled up ready for the winter the logs so I'm not sure what to do with all this ivy. I'm certainly not going to compost it. So I think I'm just going to bag it and take it to the council tip probably. But at this moment, I can't, I can't see the ivy for the trees. So it's just so much of it. And this is just really one and a half years of letting it, letting it grow. I've never like cut it. And it's big, huge branches, but I'm reclaiming it. the washing out <laughs> the washing's gonna stay out the wife will be saying get it in get it in <laughs> I'll put it in the tumble dryer <laughs> I've just had a, a huge breakfast as well. Two boiled eggs and one of them big beef tomatoes, chopped up, salt and pepper, olive oil. Hmm. What else? Oh, and some beetroot as well. Yes, I'm <laughs> trying to be good. This thing. It's like metal thing, and you've got to be careful because it, oh, it'll bang your legs and it's very nasty.
that's looking a bit better there so that's that's sorted but and now if I just turn these round gently gently I need to kind of sort all that out because it like I say it's everything just been whoa. so I'm gonna move some of them plants and then hopefully get a bit of room of there I don't know if that table's not the right place to have it that might go and put it up stick it somewhere else for the time being I'm just filling up green bins I can't be bothered to back it <laughs> second one ow We don't, you've got to, around here, you've got to pay for your, your green bins to be taken away. Now, I don't do that, and I don't think anyone on the street does. So we just kind of leave it until it's composted. It's like another compost bin, and then just take away up the allotment. No one, I think I'm going to move this. No one sits on this, and I'll move a plant put a plant maybe there there's only me sits on it you know what I mean and I don't know we'll see we'll see that plan could change oh, 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 oh. oh this is heavy should I get in the sun to help us with that oh, oh, oh. right I think I'm going to put it in the front garden. Yeah. Look a bit more nice out there. I need this one shifted, but I don't know. I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> I've got this dodgy sack bar, but I don't think it'll be any good. I might be able to plant them up with some wildflowers one day. I did this, I spread this with wildflowers last year for the bees, but 
wildflowers to me just look like weeds <laughs> I just want to clean them but I'm just letting it go just so it's a bit of a natural habitat for the bees getting there getting there but not yeah yet I think I'll put these little ones behind the seats right this is going where you are I think I just move you This thing here, I forget, I'm not sure, is it a, it's not a castor oil plant is it? I can't remember, but anyway, it was where this one was and it didn't thrive at all. Then I kind of just shoved it, shoved it there, neglected it and it's a weir, like I've never watered it for a year and it's a weir. I think I'm going to just leave it, I'm going to try and shunt it right in there. Five minutes, I'll have a coffee. I've got something to show you. So, I eventually got, these are the competition prizes for the garlic. So I eventually got that sorted out. So, Peter Fletcher, well done Peter, sir. Mrs. J. MacArthur, hello there, J. Mark Scott, thank you very much, sir. Rebecca, Rebecca, I don't know your surname, so that one's there, and last one, Darren Bailey, there you go, out of the hat, there was three or four hundred people there, you know what I mean, five bulbs, so I'm going to be doing some more competitions soon of some quirky things as well, but I'm going to have five minutes. Oh. Daisy! Daisy, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm thinking I might bring the table back because we've got this George Foreman outdoor cooking thing and it's for my son just to kind of, you know, play and grill away outside. But you need a table there, so I might bring that table back. We'll see when it's finished. We're getting nearly close, nearly close to finishing. I can see the, I can see the line, the winning line. God. So I'll get these posted as soon as I bought these boxes off eBay, and I couldn't put them together to get my son. I just got frustrated, all like the folds and everything. Like that. Knit. Read, come here. <laughs> right. 
Come on. Going round in circles. Keep them. There you go, because I was spending too much time at the allotment. <laughs> it was a good boy. Right, give you a little look around there now. So, excuse the handheld, but let's have a look. Right, there we go. So, I brought that table back in just so we've got something to put on. I'm going to put the cooker thing there. It's an electric one, but it looks like a, a grill, like a, it's one of those barbecue lid things. That was hideously covered in it was coming all down and right over the seats and it was just dark and dank so i think it's made i've got a fireplace my old fireplace still we're going to use it to make it look quite nice and but nah it's going to go at the tip there as well so i think that's it and that will go within within a season i think so i get that ready for next year as well so Look after yourselves, take good care.